Good morning. I have a couple of prints to shrink wrap and I thought I would do a quick video of it just to show how I do it. I poke a tiny hole in the back to let the air out. And then I start thinking keep my gun on a low setting. This is a heat gun. It's very easy to burn through the shrink wrap. Um, it's not worth buying the inexpensive shrink wrap. It's really worth paying the extra for the graphics grade because the inexpensive stuff just gets holes blown in it so easily. So I pull all the corners to the back so that this business where it was the shrink wrap corners kind of make that bump doesn't show. So you need to leave enough excess that you can pull at all those corners to the back. I do the back first. And I'll do the front corners. That last bit is the part where you have to be most careful because the shrink wrap is heated up and it's stretched and it just bursts so easy at that point. So as you saw me sort of moving it around away from the heat a little bit on areas where I had some persistent wrinkles. And there's the first one. Pull those corners in. So much easier if you leave that extra room and don't shrink, put them in your shrink wrap machine too tightly. And the longer you have your gun on, at least the guns that I've always used, um, the more they heat up. So it's, it's sometimes you need to turn the heat down a little as you go. You see, all if I didn't have that hole there, all the excess air would be turning this into a pillow and that would cause it to burst. A big hole would just blow out. And you don't want to, um, that little cut that you made, you don't want to spend a lot of time around that or you can cause that to blow out. Okay, get the corners. Those, if you don't get the corners out, First, those wrinkles can be kind of hard to get out after the rest of it is shrink wrapped. Okay, there it is. Such a nice way to deliver a print.
There they are, ready to ship. Have a good day.